Hi there. I just wanted to um, just continue the um, the area around free data for MapInfo and indeed for other um, GISs, GIS clients. Um, but specifically, we're looking at MapInfo Pro at the moment, and this is version 17. I just did a, a very straightforward sort of four minute, 30 second or whatever it was on um, getting OpenStreetMap uh, a WMS into um, MapInfo. And, um, and here it is, but we can get some vector data from Ordnance Survey uh, for the UK. So this OSM stuff is, of course, um, global, it's, it's worldwide, but um, uh, if you're in the UK, you can get some uh, good vector data from Ordnance Survey called ZoomStack. Um, and actually, just before we go there, one thing to note about just to end on this WMS, I should have mentioned it really, but you can just press this button here to turn it all grayscale. Um, when it's on style, so you can work in grayscale if you want. Turn that on and off, and also when your your WS is highlighted there, you can um, drag the um, translucency, and so you know fade it in and out because it's just a raster um, map layer. Anyway, so what's this zoom stack? Let's bring it across. So for the UK, um, Ordnance Survey released a product. They released it some time ago, actually. Um, called OS, <coughs> excuse me, Open Zoom Stack, which is free open data. So you know, to, to give give credit where you display and print it. Um, but um, but it is under the open license. It's a big file. It's for the whole UK. It's a four gig download, and you, you can bring it down as vector tiles or as a geo package. Um, and that's a geo package uh, is what I'm, I'm going to uh, or have downloaded and uh, it's what I'm going to open in map info. So in um, so I mean, clicked on this and downloaded it. It's a zip file, so I've unzipped it um, into a particular folder. So I'll just turn off this WMS for a minute. So it's a geo package, uh, which is a sort of open standard. So you go to um, open table um, as normal. You can actually see it in the, in the tip tool tip there. It says geo package. So I click on open table and then select geo package uh, and then go to the appropriate, make sure you're in the right folder obviously. And, and there it is, GP, GPKG. Um, so like I said, this is UK only and it's a, a set of layers that are free to use. I'm gonna put them in the current mapper and it's also vector, this is vector data. <clears throat> when you open a geo package in map info, you get presented with all the different um, layers that are stored in there because effectively it's a mini database. So, you know, what are you interested in? Actually, just for the purposes of this demo, I would, I think I'd just like the regional roads and the national roads just for demonstration purposes. Um, you can uh, quick look at options. You can change where um, the tab file is created because it will create a tab file for each one of these to define them. You can click on style for the regional roads. Uh, we know the line. So let's make these red and quite thick. Yeah. Um, and but on the uh, actually, let's change that. Let's because that's regional. So let's make these a bit um, regional. No, let's make them green and not too thick. But make the national ones. But you, you know, as you can see, you, you get the drift. You're, you're just you know choosing. Uh, a color scheme. You can do this anyway in the layer control. Obviously, click on symbology. But you know, you can you can do it here if you like. And there's um, um, oh, what the heck? Let's let's go for woodland. Let's add that as well, just for um, completeness' sake. So we'll have a solid. Uh, actually, we'll have a little patterned one. Let's make it green as well. Let's make it a darker green. Um, that's all right. Let's make it a bit lighter. There we go. Um, anyway. You get the drift. So I'm setting styles. I'm not pulling them all in. I'm not doing a select. I'm just picking out the ones I'm interested in, and it will be it'll create a read-only um, view. So press OK. I take a bit of time to do this, but if we look at our folder where the Zoom stack is, um, I unzipped, and you can see the GPKG. You can see the tabs being created. So it was just the woodland and the um, region national rows, and it's created a respective tab. If you look at those tabs, let's look at national. Um, open it up, put say with Notepad plus plus. Um, you can see in the tab file how it's defined it. You know, it's a type geo package 
There's some metadata here telling you all about it, including um, the information. This is national roads, so this is um, uh, quite a thick line. Um, Colour is red or reddish, whatever it was. Um, so you know, it's defined it. Um, there's a default star. Um, it's defined it as uh, you know how I set it in the star. So it's a tab file. So it's so now you're talking. You, you're looking at a tab file, um, and you'll see it um, opening up. So it took a few um, minutes to load that up. I'm actually got a sort of NAS network drive, so um, it's a bit slower than local SSD or something. Um, but it's it's all loaded. You can see these all this woodland area, um, the regional national roads. Let's just turn off the woods for a moment and extend this, so you can see the national road and regional. So you can see how um, uh, you know, this is vector data. And you can see that if you were to build this up yourself, you, you, there's a bit of work to create a, a workspace that would be um, exactly how you how you want it. But it is um, absolutely um, vector, so um, you can um, use the info tool and click. That's the M5. Uh, and this down here, what's that? Is that the The A45, I guess, is that the M69 over there? M6, M6. So, um, so that's all. That's the vector data in there. And like I said, these are um, tab files, but uh, they're pointing to the geo package. So you can't sort of delete the geo package. Um, it's it's still on there, but it is uh, free data. You can use at will. There's a lot of it. Uh, there were quite a few other. If I go back to that your package file you see there was a lot of layers um, you know contours various boundaries um, uh, some local building data um, urban area urban sprawl so there's there's certainly um, railway networks there's certainly quite quite a lot in there to play with uh, some good good GIS data to use um, so but this is vector uh, like I said so if I um, turn on the underlying raster from the WMS you'll see how um, it's it all sort of aligns but it's obviously for a different purpose when you're using um, vector uh, to when you're using raster there's, there's a particular reason but there you go free data and um, I hope you find that useful thanks